All right. Okay, that's class, class. I don't know why I said it. I've been trying to figure that out myself, but that is not why we're here today. We're here today. Mr. Brackett, Mr. Brackett. Mike? Well, I've been thinking about it all night. Why would that guy say you were gay? And I got it figured out. I got it. What have you got? <laughs> Look at you. I beg your pardon? I mean, no offense, but you're an English teacher. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, all this poetry and odes and bonnets. Sonnets? And you're kind of prissy. Prissy? Well, not in a bad way. I'm, I mean, like, you're smart and well-dressed. And really clean. Doesn't look good. And plus, you got the drama club, and you ride that bicycle. <laughs> You've been engaged to Miss Montgomery for, like, three years? What, what does that have to... I mean, think about it. If you add it up, of course the guy thinks you're gay. Oh, oh, oh! And plus, he was in that movie. So his brain is, like, already going that way. And then he remembers you... And he goes, smart, clean, totally decent human being, gay. Gays yeah. <laughs> in the space program. Lesbians on Mars? Do you have any comments? Excuse me. Excuse me. He's teaching. Mr. Mr. Brackett, boys and girls. Mr. Hallowell. Howard, could, uh, could I? Oh, well, excuse me. The school is surrounded. TV cameras, reporters. See, they want pictures of the Giga. <laughs> I, I tried to reason with them. I told them I was the principal, and they they, they mocked me. I'm sorry. Could you could you talk to them right away, class? Uh, class, page uh, fifty-eight. Yes. Learn learn all you, all you can. Mr. Brackett. Yes. Watch the hands. Oh, uh, good good point. Thank you.